Mission is brought to you by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. As the world celebrates mothers, TV3 Mission is bringing to you the story of a mother's undying love for her child. <laughs> When Agnes Teko Nyamite became pregnant at 46 years, she left with joy knowing her pregnancy was indeed the miracle she had been praying for. And then when I went to the hospital and I asked, I missed my period, the nurse on duty said that it was menopause because I was 46 then. But I asked her to allow me to go through the lab test and see whether it's pregnancy. So I went through the lab test and the following day they asked me to come and it was positive. It was a difficult one because I had had my first child um, who was 18 years then. But when she gave birth, she was told her daughter had extra chromosomes, meaning she was born with a condition known as Down syndrome. An associate pater with my church, First Baptist Church, she came actually to visit me when I was in the hospital. And I had told her that the doctor had told me that my daughter has Down syndrome, but I refused it in Jesus' name. She told me that, yes, you can refuse it. It's not, it's not bad if you say you refuse it in Jesus' name. But what if God says no? I will not change this girl's condition. But this is the child that I've given you. What will you do? You don't know me that, yes, God can also say no. This is the child I've given you, so what, what will I do? She had told me that she had delivered a, a baby girl. I didn't know there was any conditions or she was... Uh, she was diagnosed with any condition, so then when I go home, and I saw her surfing the, surfing the web, and she was reading about Down syndrome. And then I had an idea about Down syndrome. I didn't really know what it was, but I had a general idea of what Down syndrome was. So I asked her why she was reading about Down syndrome, and then she just broke down in tears. So then I knew that it must have been something close to me, someone close to us. So I just, uh, I just uh, surmised that it was my sister who had Down syndrome. Vowing to let her daughter live in a socially inclusive environment despite the challenges and stigmatization, Agnes has enrolled Toda in school. She's at the Wilmore Christian Academy and she's making progress slowly. I love you, you love me, we are one big family. When she was first enrolled in the school, she wasn't able to identify colors, even to grab a pencil or a crayon to color. She was having a problem with it. But thanks be to God, now she can scribble, she can color in an accurate uh, space that you give her to color. Parents of children with special needs should always be encouraged to send their wards to school. Here at the Wilmore Christian Academy, Toda is a living example that through inclusive education, children with and without special needs can all be in one classroom and enjoy quality education. Down syndrome is a lifelong clinical condition caused by extra chromosomes found in a person's biology. Chromosomes determine the physical characteristics of every person such as the hair, eyes, color and height. Children with Down syndrome, because of their extra chromosomes, come with some peculiar physical traits. For example, they may appear to have a flat face, eyes that slant upwards and are more floppy, resulting in delayed developments like sitting, crawling, walking and talking. Diagnosis of Down syndrome can be done at the prenatal stage of pregnancy using blood tests and an ultrasound scan. Despite the challenges and limitations that come with having Down syndrome, Toda is living her life to the fullest. She's a model and works like a pro. She offered to even teach me some lessons in modeling.
aplat. Down Syndrome Awareness Month is marked every year in October to celebrate people with Down Syndrome and to make people aware of the abilities and accomplishments of persons living with the condition. Toda darling. Yes, ma'am. You know I love you so much. Yes. When you came into my life, I thought you were a problem. But you've been a blessing to me. And I love you so much. I believe that there are a lot of things that you can do. And by the grace of God, you achieve them. Thank you. I love you. I love you so, so much. Thank you. My mom and I, we set up a foundation, Toda Kunet Foundation, and the purpose of the foundation was to create awareness on the condition, Down syndrome, and uh, also to educate people, to um, reach out to people, with Down, uh, children and parents of children with Down syndrome, reach out to them and then try to encourage them to accept their children the way they are, love them the way they are, teach them how to be able to cater for themselves. Porsche Gabo, TV3 News, Accra. That's all for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU.